today. She a curious sight, Ebony Brown, Bucket Brown eyes wandering. I'm watching her stumble in a bit of the uneven grass alongside her kindred. A Mr. Domino topped off in quite a spectacular Panama hat. Looking curious as a kitten rascal he is. Was happy to see her not alone. I knew she came from quite far to look for me. An old dusty saga, one that I thought would never be told. I was forced to take it to my grave only because my speaking came too late. Only reason she knows the story is because of that niece of Aunt Mary's that was going senile and started telling everybody's business. My little love bits, my boys, were told a completely different story. Went to their own graves believing just that. One that would keep me always angelic in their hearts. In retrospect, I'm not mad about that. It is enough that they had to grow up without me. But the women in my line whispered truth. I guess is a warning to the risk of clandestine destinies and uncast graves. Mama said it was just my cross to bear. We all have some. Well, they didn't know I was electric, alive, spirited, fire, and free. My spirit overshadowing my dreams too bombastic, my eyes too sparkling, my laughter too true. My name is your name, our name is their name. We are named, we remember they forget. My name is your name, our name is their name, we are named, we remember they forget. My name is your name, our name is their name, and we are named, we remember, they forget.
secret mission and me though a willing collaborator still a minor character in a backstory that didn't truly belong to me though I knew I was there you would have thought I was as ghostly as I am now <laughs> and if for one moment I might guide his movements knowing the location of my own desire or ask to delay the impending pressure until I could position myself pleasurably so I would be accused of Jezebel behavior skewing duty Messing up the balance of what I was destined by God, he said, to receive. Josephine said, wives don't get those moments and that it was blasphemous and beyond deviant to even inquire. You raise better than that. She said, a dutiful wife is an angel of the ages. You smile, you look pretty, but stay on the borderline of dumb, undramatic, and devoted. Know your charge. I had some reservations about him. Really didn't pay much attention. I just gave it to God to sort out my worry. It tickles me when I think about it too much because, honey, he really tried it. He tried to ruin my sense of self-worth with every move. I think about what Truth used to say. She said, if I have to answer for the deeds done in my body just as much as man, I have a right to have as much as a man. In the early days, he looked at me with such love and care. By the end days, honey, he looked at me with disdain and wild, paranoid suspicion. Made me feel like a slave in my own soul. Well, they didn't know I was electric, alive, spirited, fire, and free. My spirit overshadowing, my dreams too bombastic, my eyes too sparkling, my laughter too true. My name is your name, our name is their name. We are named, we remember, they forget. My name is your name, our name is their name. We are named, we remember, they forget. My name is your name, our name is their name. We are named, we remember, they forget.
His daddy ran all over Cain. Shadow children is just used to call them. With his signature angelic grin. A few of them were under my tutelage even. He took love and care of all of them though, not a one ever hungry or wanted. His mama made peace with it and carried on. But I remember when I first heard the whispers about his daddy's liaisons, and I thought I could never. Sometimes when I get a bit wistful, missing out on my boys growing strong, I replay choices in my head and have just come to understand that what we are dealt is not necessarily what we choose. But one can only take so much humiliation. When Mon came home that day and told me he wanted his little shadows to know all that was ours, I couldn't handle it. We fought, said words to each other that to this day I cannot repeat. The sting is too lasting even in its faded memory. He told me if I didn't like it, I had to leave. Man of the house, love, honor, and obey was my pointed charge, he said. At first I refused, but then I decided to call his bluff. I scooped up the boys, knew I needed to get back to my own born home to feel a sense of my root until I could figure out what to do. When I tell you his people did not like me, so attached to the color line that my supposed mystery tone represented supposed stain. They had had a long history of marrying each other to keep the tone consistent. Double cousins on both sides, but a deep familial love, I will give them that. But because I was not local, they couldn't be sure I might not give passageway to what Granny used to call a throwback child. Every one of my siblings, Mama and Daddy, looked like me in tone. There was no throwback to be found, but yet his family went on imagining. You know, I was a school teacher, somewhat accomplished in my thought, if I do say so myself, yet my intellect was forever under review. I look at it all now and I still laugh. Because, well, they didn't know I was electric, alive, spirited, fire, and free. My spirit overshadowing, my dreams too bombastic, my eyes too sparkling, and my laughter too true. My name is your name, our name is their name, we are named, we remember, they forget. My name is your name, our name is their name, we are named, we remember, they forget. My name is your name, our name is their name, we are named, we remember, they forget.
The boys and I had been in the city for a few months. It was cooler here. And since they were not yet of school age, I felt no hurry to return back to that house. He did come up to see us, but only to double down on his demands. I don't know where my head was at, but I had been reading a few things that, you know, gave me some hope around my plight. Change was in the air. Women would live to see a better time. I was absolutely deflated when only a few weeks after we had left, I was up early with the sickness, startled to learn that I was again with child. I tried to see the God in that moment, a sign giving me this new bind to turn the tide, walk back to the home we shared in forgiveness and return to my stead. Maybe I could walk the line of looking the other way like his own mother was doing and had been doing for years. While the gossip beat me to my return, I had apparently become the talk. I thought he and his family would be happy to see that I had decided to stay committed to my duty, but they held me in such suspicion, he himself declaring that he didn't even know if the child was his, as if I had any time to cat around while looking after our two little ones. This hurt me, and I was not thinking clearly, so I picked up the boys and we left again. It was to be the last time. I was in a very bad predicament. The year was 1925, and though many things had changed for us, a few things were still quite choked up. I could not pick up my teaching duties being in the family way, and Mama and Daddy did not have the resources to help me try to hide away until I could not be so unwell. So I did the most resourceful thing I could do. I looked into possible futures. Liza, who had 13 and was sick with depression that she was about to have her 14, was caught in the stable drinking lye. Luckily, she didn't die, and nor did the child, but her husband committed her to the bin because of the supposed madness she had post her delivery. He had also caught her pleasure in herself and just knew there was something wrong and Mooney been worthy. She never was the same after that. I'd heard about a combination of herbs the root woman was making, but I couldn't get to her in time, and Wilhelmina told me it didn't always work. And so one day, out of sheer desperation and a bubbling sadness, letting my anxiety get the best of me, I devised a plan. At the library, there was a long enough staircase that if I positioned myself just right, I could roll down the steps, accidentally ending my predicament in a matter of minutes. I wasn't showing just yet, and it sounded like a feasible option. And so I did just that. The pain was unbearable, the bleeding was profuse, but I thought that was a good sign that all had worked. And eventually the bleeding did stop. However, a few days later, I was in a terrible pain, and I couldn't hide it from Mama, and I told what I had done. She called the doctor right away. They didn't know I was electric, alive, spirited, fire free. My spirit overshadowing, my dreams too bombastic, my eyes too bright, and my laugh they too true. Forget my, my name is your name. name. Our name is their is name. Your name. Your name. Our name is their name. Forget.
Even if I explained myself, my reasoning, no one would really believe me. His youngest sister, who always seemed to lack basic kindness, had turned his entire clan against me by the time I was able to pull them apart from some of her sorry gossiping ways. And so once again, I just laid there. I laid there on Dr. O'Hara's cold gray table and wondered, does he see me? Again, gaze so absent. Another on a mission that I seemed only included as minor character in yet another oh so pious backstory. Though I liked Dr. O'Hara very much, he was always very cheery towards me as a child, but that night, that night all I saw was his judgment. Gal, how could you get yourself in such a mare's nest, he said, as if I had created some replica of the Virgin Mary's locust on my lonesome. The audacity of these rappers with that dangle between their legs. My walk on happened so blindingly fast, I thank God I don't really remember how I got from there to here, telling you this old, somewhat stale tale. But I am here, and at least I know through the eyes of my great granddaughter, I am seen and I have been heard. I was not even allowed a burial. Mama straight disowned me. Daddy had me secretly buried near the family plot, hoping that by the time she would notice, she'd have been too gone to care. My little bits were sent back down to live with a daddy, who in his own grief, for whatever love he had left for me, disappeared never to be seen alive again. They were lovingly taken care of by extended family, raised as orphans, but never made to feel as such, told that I had died in a hard childbirth. Which I suppose is somewhat true, only in that what was birthed was my voice and what died was my judged silence. Because they didn't know I was electric, alive, spirited, fire, and free. My spirit overshadowing, my dreams too bombastic, my eyes too sparkling in my lap too true. My name is your name. Our name is Our name is there. We are named. We remember. They forget. We my name is your name. Our name is their name. We are named. We remember. They forget. My name is your name. Our name is their name. We are named. We remember they forget.
forget My name is your name Our name is their name We are named We remember they forget My name is your name Our name is their name We are named We remember they forget Our name is your name Our name is their name We are named We remember they forget My name is your name Our name is their name We are named We remember they forget My name is your name Our name is their name We are named We remember they forget My name is your name
don't you saw? Poor don't you saw? My name is Tu Nombre. My name is Your Name. My name is Tu Nombre. My name is Your Name. My name is Your Name.